Beyond Broke, Build Wealth, Live Without Worry. Written by Ronnie Rowland. Published by Growth Literacy Lounge. Introduction. What if I told you that everything you think you know about money and success could actually be keeping you broke? Right now, millions of hardworking people are trapped in a relentless cycle, living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to stay afloat, hoping for a break that never seems to come. They're working harder than ever, but still feel like they're barely getting by. And maybe you're one of them. It's not because you aren't earning enough. It's not because you're bad with money. And it's definitely not because you aren't trying. The real problem is something deeper, something nobody ever taught you. This book, Beyond Broke, is about more than simply making ends meet. It's about showing you how to escape that cycle entirely. Here, you'll learn the secrets to building true wealth, not just through budgeting or cutting back but by reshaping how you think about money and wealth itself. You'll uncover strategies that could allow you to finally live without worry, to create a life where money is no longer a source of anxiety but a source of possibility. Imagine a future where you no longer count the days until payday, where unexpected expenses don't send you into a spiral of stress. This book holds the blueprint to make that future possible, no matter where you're starting from today. Maybe you're tired of feeling like you're falling behind, watching others move forward while you're stuck in the same place. Maybe you've wondered why financial freedom seems to come so easily to some, while others struggle, despite their best efforts. I get it. The feeling of trying everything and still not seeing the results you're working so hard for. Because financial freedom isn't just for the privileged few, it's for anyone who's ready to break the cycle, shift their habits and reclaim control over their life. In Beyond Broke, you'll find more than advice, you'll find understanding, empowerment, and practical steps to help you break free. As financial expert Warren Buffett wisely said, the best investment you can make is in yourself. Let Beyond Broke be the investment in yourself that changes everything. Your future is waiting. Let's make it one where wealth becomes your reality, not just a dream. Chapter 1. The Illusion of Security. Why Paycheck to Paycheck is a Trap. Imagine this, you work hard every day clocking in hours at a job that pays the bills but barely leaves room for anything else. Each paycheck covers rent, utilities, maybe a few small luxuries, but by the end of the month you're back to zero, waiting for that next infusion of cash to survive. Sound familiar? If it does, you're not alone. In fact, nearly 60% of people live paycheck to paycheck, caught in a cycle that feels inescapable. But here's the truth, this cycle is not an accident. It's a trap, one designed to keep you dependent, striving, and forever on the edge of financial security. In this chapter, we're going to dismantle the myth of paycheck-to-paycheck living as an acceptable norm. We'll dive into the psychological and societal mechanisms that perpetuate this cycle and reveal why it's not just about your income or spending habits. It's about breaking free from a system built to keep you exactly where you are. Living paycheck-to-paycheck often feels like an individual struggle, a private battle with personal finances. But here's the reality, this isn't simply about your budgeting skills or your spending choices. The system itself is set up to benefit from a large portion of society struggling to get by, making you a perpetual consumer rather than an empowered individual. It's a cycle designed to make financial security seem like a luxury rather than a basic right. From student loans to credit cards, debt is marketed as a necessity, something everyone is supposed to have. The result? Most people get locked into high-interest payments, giving up a huge chunk of their income to lenders each month. Think about it if you're constantly paying down debt. How can you build wealth? If you're always broke before the month ends, how can you plan for the future? This structure is deeply rooted in the economic framework of consumerism. When people live paycheck to paycheck, they become predictable, repeat customers for everything from credit card companies to payday lenders. The financial industry depends on this cycle to thrive, keeping people in a cycle of dependence. For a long time, society has romanticized the idea of the hardworking person just making ends meet. It's as if scraping by is a badge of honor. But consider this, why is it seen as noble to be constantly hustling just to survive? The truth is, paycheck-to-paycheck living is neither noble nor natural. It's a trap and it's designed to limit your options and keep you from building real wealth. When people believe that barely getting by is normal, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's almost as if society gives a silent pat on the back to those who struggle nobly without asking the critical question. 
why do so many people have to struggle in the first place? This mindset makes it harder for people to see a way out. In reality, breaking free from this cycle requires a mindset shift, a willingness to see the trap for what it is. Consider this analogy. Paycheck to paycheck living is like being on a treadmill that never stops. You expend all your energy just staying in place. When you live in this cycle, there's a constant sense of urgency and stress, a need to keep running so you don't fall behind. Financial dependency isn't just about income, it's about control. When you're dependent on that next paycheck, you're controlled by the fear of what if. What if the car breaks down? What if an emergency happens? What if you lose your job? That dependency keeps you chained to a job you might not even like and prevents you from exploring options that could lead to genuine financial growth. The system is structured to make you feel like the next paycheck is the only thing keeping you afloat, making you more likely to cling to a job, a credit card, or any financial safety net, even if it ultimately drains your resources. Breaking the cycle begins with awareness. To escape, you first have to see the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck system for what it is, a financial illusion. Once you recognize that the cycle is built to benefit others more than it benefits you, you can start to reclaim control. Instead of just getting by, aim to build something greater, a stable financial foundation that doesn't rely on the next payday. This mindset shift doesn't mean you'll change your life overnight, but it does mean you'll start making decisions differently. You'll see money not as something to survive on but as a tool that, when managed well, can buy freedom. And freedom, not endless hustle, should be the goal. The first step toward financial independence is breaking out of the mindset that paycheck to paycheck is normal. This chapter has peeled back the layers on the systemic structures that keep so many people stuck. It's time to recognize that paycheck to paycheck is not a rite of passage or a badge of honor. It's a trap, and now you know better. In the next chapters we'll explore practical strategies, from mindset shifts to tangible steps, that will empower you to break free from this cycle and move towards financial freedom. Remember, it's not about working harder, it's about working smarter and reclaiming control over your financial future. Chapter 2. Your Money Mindset. The Invisible Barrier to Wealth. Imagine you're given a roadmap to financial freedom, complete with all the practical steps and strategies. You study it, feel motivated, and yet, a few months later, you're still stuck in the same place. Sound familiar? This is the invisible barrier that holds so many people back, mindset. Our beliefs about money, often formed in childhood, shape our financial decisions in ways we rarely notice. To escape the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle, you must shift how you think about money at its core. In this chapter, we'll dive deep into the power of mindset and uncover the hidden beliefs and fears that might be keeping you from building true wealth. This isn't just a think-positive exercise, it's about transforming the fundamental way you view money security, and yourself. From a young age, many of us are taught ideas about money that, while well-intentioned, can become roadblocks later in life. Beliefs like money doesn't grow on trees, wealth is for the lucky, or wanting money is selfish can linger in our subconscious, subtly influencing every financial decision we make. These beliefs act as an invisible ceiling, preventing us from rising above a certain level of financial success. To start transforming your financial reality, you first have to uncover these limiting beliefs. Ask yourself, what phrases did you hear growing up about money? What do you believe about people who are wealthy? The answers to these questions can reveal deep-seated assumptions that shape your financial behavior. One of the most common limiting mindsets is scarcity, the belief that there's never enough. People with a scarcity mindset often feel compelled to hold on to every dollar, fear taking risks, and struggle to make financial decisions confidently. Scarcity thinking keeps you in survival mode, reinforcing the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle as you fearfully cling to the security of the next payday. In contrast, an abundance mindset encourages you to see money as a tool, not as something finite or scarce. When you shift to an abundance mindset, you begin to believe there are endless opportunities for growth and financial gain. This doesn't mean ignoring budgeting or dismissing practical limitations, rather, it's about embracing a mindset where you trust your ability to create wealth over time. Many people feel that financial success is beyond their reach, that it's something only certain people are capable of achieving. But in reality, financial skills can be learned and developed. This is where a growth mindset comes in, the belief that you can improve, adapt, and learn. 
a growth mindset encourages curiosity about finances rather than fear or avoidance. Instead of seeing financial setbacks as failures, you start viewing them as learning opportunities. This mindset fuels resilience and persistence, two qualities essential for escaping the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle. When you approach your financial life with a growth mindset, you stop fearing mistakes and start embracing the learning curve. Every person has a unique financial story, a personal narrative they tell themselves about what money means, what it's for, and what it says about them. For some, money may represent safety, while for others, it could symbolize freedom or power. Understanding your financial story is key to reshaping your relationship with money in a healthier, more productive way. Ask yourself, what is my financial story? Is it a tale of scarcity, struggle, or limitation? Or is it a story of growth, abundance, and freedom? Your financial story is more than just your bank balance. It's a mindset that influences your decisions. Once you understand and rewrite this story, you can align your actions with a more empowering view of money, one that supports your goals rather than holding you back. Once you've identified and rewritten your financial story, the next step is to set intentions and goals that align with this new mindset. Moving away from paycheck to paycheck living requires a clear vision of where you want to go and who you want to become financially. Take a moment to visualize your ideal financial future. What does it look like? How do you feel about money in that future? Set goals that reflect this vision, whether it's building an emergency fund, paying down debt, or saving for an investment. When your goals are aligned with a positive money mindset, they'll feel less like chores and more like stepping stones toward the life you want. Mindset is often the invisible barrier that keeps people in financial cycles they can't seem to escape. But by challenging limiting beliefs, embracing abundance, and developing a growth mindset, you create a powerful foundation for financial freedom. The journey to wealth doesn't begin in your bank account, it begins in your mind. This chapter has uncovered the power of mindset in shifting from survival to security. In the next chapter, we'll move from mindset to action, exploring practical steps to build a solid financial foundation that can sustain you beyond the next paycheck. Chapter 3 Budgeting versus Building The First Steps to Financial Freedom Budgeting is often seen as a restrictive exercise, a necessary evil to survive between paychecks. But what if there was a better way? What if, instead of focusing on limiting yourself, you could create a plan that actually builds wealth and freedom? This chapter will reframe budgeting from a process of constraint to a strategy of empowerment. Here we'll cover essential budgeting techniques and introduce the concept of wealth-building budgeting, which prioritizes growth over limitation. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a step-by-step -step approach to managing your money in a way that frees you from the stress of just getting by and moves you closer to genuine financial freedom. Traditional budgeting often feels like a survival strategy. List your income, subtract your expenses, and hope there's something left. This approach can reinforce a scarcity mindset, making you feel like you're constantly cutting corners and living without. But wealth-building budgeting is different. Instead of focusing only on making ends meet, it emphasizes setting aside money for investments, savings, and growth. In wealth-building mode, your goal is to allocate funds, not only for present needs but also for future opportunities. This shift in focus can be incredibly empowering. Rather than just paying bills, you start to see each dollar as a potential tool for wealth. The key to this approach is prioritizing assets and opportunities that will benefit you long-term like investments, savings, and debt reduction. Before you can start building wealth, you need a strong financial foundation. This begins with a simple but effective budget that covers your essentials and creates room for growth. Let's break it down. 1. List your income. This includes your primary salary and any additional sources of income, like side gigs or freelance work. 2. Identify fixed and variable expenses. Fixed expenses are consistent, like rent or mortgage payments, while variable expenses fluctuate, like groceries or entertainment. 3. Create essential and discretionary categories. Essential expenses cover necessities, while discretionary spending covers things that bring enjoyment. This categorization helps you see where to cut back if needed without sacrificing quality of life. 4. Set savings goals. Set a target for emergency savings, even if it's a small amount. These savings act as a buffer, creating stability so you're not relying solely on each paycheck. By following these steps, you create a baseline budget that not only covers your needs but also allows room for future growth. 
This foundation enables you to take the next steps toward wealth building budgeting. A wealth building budget focuses on channels that can lead to financial growth over time. Here's how to design one. 1. Pay yourself first. Set aside a portion of your income specifically for savings or investments before you cover other expenses. Think of it as paying future you. 2. Automate savings and investments. We'll automate transfers into a savings or investment account as soon as you receive your paycheck. This approach ensures consistency and helps grow your savings without relying on willpower. 3. Prioritize debt repayment. High-interest debt, like credit cards, can drain your financial resources. In a wealth-building budget, paying down debt is a priority as it frees up money for future investments. 4. Invest in skills and assets. Set aside a small portion of your budget for learning opportunities or investments that could lead to increased income. This might mean online courses, certifications, or investing in tools that could help you earn more. This approach to budgeting doesn't just manage money, it gives your finances direction and purpose, moving you closer to a life of financial independence. One of the main reasons people resist budgeting is the fear of restriction. A flexible budget removes that fear by building in room for enjoyment. Remember, the goal is not just survival but a sustainable, enjoyable financial future. To budget for flexibility, allocate a percentage of your income toward fund money each month. This amount should be enough to allow enjoyment without jeopardizing your financial goals. This freedom encourages you to stick with your budget long term, as it respects both your financial aspirations and your need for present enjoyment. Flexibility is a key component of any effective budget. It acknowledges that life is unpredictable and makes room for adaptation without derailing your plans. A wealth building budget is not static. Life changes, income fluctuates, and expenses evolve. Regularly tracking your spending and adjusting your budget as necessary ensures you're always aligned with your financial goals. 1. Monthly check-ins. Review your budget each month to see where you may have over- or underspent. Adjust allocations as necessary. 2. Quarterly assessments. Every three months evaluate how well your budget is supporting your growth goals. Are you consistently able to save and invest? Are your debt payments shrinking? 3. Annual review. Once a year, do a comprehensive review of your budget and goals. Has your income changed? Have your goals shifted? Make any adjustments to reflect these changes. Tracking progress helps you stay motivated. Each small success, an extra $100 saved, a debt paid down, reinforces your commitment to long-term financial freedom. Creating a budget with wealth building in mind is one of the most empowering steps you can take. This chapter has guided you through the basics of budgeting and introduced the idea of a growth-oriented financial plan. Budgeting isn't just about saying no to things, it's about directing your resources toward a future of stability, choice, and freedom. As you move forward, keep this mindset at the forefront. Wealth building isn't an overnight process, but with each intentional choice, you're moving further away from paycheck to paycheck living and closer to financial independence. In the next chapter, we'll explore the importance of building a financial safety net through emergency funds and income diversification, setting the stage for true stability and resilience. Chapter 4. Emergency Funds and Income Streams. Building a Safety Net. One of the biggest sources of financial stress for people living paycheck to paycheck is the constant worry of unexpected expenses. A car breakdown, a medical emergency, or even a temporary job loss can destabilize everything. Without a safety net, the smallest crisis becomes a significant setback. But imagine if you had a cushion, a buffer that absorbed life's financial shocks so you didn't have to live in constant fear of the next emergency. This chapter will walk you through the essentials of creating an emergency fund and developing multiple income streams. Building a safety net is not just about security, it's about reclaiming peace of mind and freedom. Once you're prepared for the unexpected, you can start moving toward a life that isn't ruled by financial anxiety. An emergency fund is your first line of defense against financial stress. It's a dedicated stash of money set aside specifically for unforeseen expenses, like car repairs, medical bills, or a sudden drop in income. Having even a small emergency fund can mean the difference between a temporary setback and a financial crisis. Ideally, your emergency fund should cover three to six months of essential expenses. This might sound intimidating, but remember, it doesn't have to be built overnight. Start with a modest goal, 
$500 or $1,000, and build from there. The key is consistency. By setting aside a small amount each month, you'll gradually create a cushion that can protect you from life's financial curveballs. Building an emergency fund is a gradual process, but one that brings immense peace of mind. Here's a simple step-by-step -step plan to get started. 1. Set a realistic goal. Start with a target you can reach within a few months, like $500 or $1,000. Once you hit this, aim to build up to three to six months of essential expenses. 2. Automate savings. Set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to a separate savings account dedicated to emergencies. Automating this process ensures consistency without the need for willpower. 3. Cut non-essentials temporarily. Review your budget to find small areas where you can cut back temporarily, like dining out or entertainment, until you hit your initial emergency fund goal. 4. Celebrate small milestones. Building an emergency fund can feel like a long road, so celebrate small wins along the way. Each hundred dollars saved is a step toward freedom from financial stress. Remember, an emergency fund isn't about perfection. Even a small cushion can provide some relief and keep you from turning to high-interest credit cards or loans in a crisis. The concept of relying solely on one income source is increasingly outdated in today's economy. Developing additional income streams not only increases your financial stability, but also gives you more control over your finances. Think of it as spreading out your risk. If one source of income falters, you have others to rely on. There are numerous ways to build extra income streams, depending on your skills, interests, and time. Here are a few ideas to consider. 1. Freelancing or consulting. If you have a skill that's in demand, writing, graphic design, coding, or marketing, you can offer services on a freelance basis. 2. Side hustles. From ride-sharing to delivery services, side hustles are a flexible way to bring in additional income. 3. Investments. While this requires some capital, investing in stocks, bonds, or real estate can create passive income streams over time. 4. Selling products or creating content. If you have a hobby or passion, consider turning it into a side business, like selling handmade goods or creating online content that generates ad revenue. Building multiple income streams requires time and effort, but it adds resilience to your financial life and keeps you from being entirely dependent on a single paycheck. Passive income is the holy grail of financial freedom. This is money that flows in with minimal effort after the initial setup, allowing you to earn while focusing on other areas of life. While building passive income streams takes time and investment, it can provide significant long-term benefits. Some ideas for passive income include 1. Dividend stocks. Invest in dividend-paying stocks to earn regular payments just for holding shares. 2. Rental income. Purchasing property to rent out can generate monthly income, though it requires initial investment and ongoing management. 3. Creating digital products. E-books, online courses, or print-on-demand products can continue to generate sales over time with minimal maintenance. Passive income isn't a quick fix, but over time, it can provide financial stability and freedom from the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle. By combining passive income with other streams, you build a robust safety net that supports long-term security. Once you've established an emergency fund and income streams, maintaining and expanding them becomes a key priority. This means setting new savings goals, exploring more ways to diversify your income, and reassessing your financial situation periodically. 1. Replenish your emergency fund. After any emergency, focus on restoring your fund to its target level. 2. Reevaluate your income streams. Regularly assess which income streams are performing well and which might need adjustments. The economy and personal interests change, so flexibility is crucial. 3. Set future goals. Once your safety net is established, consider setting goals for other financial priorities like retirement savings, major purchases, or additional investments. Maintaining and growing your safety net isn't just about protecting yourself from emergencies. It's also about creating a financial environment where you can thrive, grow, and pursue opportunities without fear of a single setback undoing your progress. Building a safety net through an emergency fund and multiple income streams gives you something incredibly valuable, freedom from constant financial worry. With a safety net in place, you can handle life's surprises without spiraling into debt or financial anxiety. And as you continue to grow your safety net, you'll find that it provides more than just security, 
it opens doors to new opportunities and a greater sense of control over your life. In the next chapter, we'll tackle the topic of debt and how to manage, reduce, and eventually eliminate it from your life. Debt is often the biggest obstacle between you and financial freedom, but with the right strategies, you can overcome it and accelerate your journey to a stable, prosperous future. Chapter 5. Mastering Debt How to Reduce and Eventually Eliminate It Debt can feel like an ever-present shadow, looming over every financial decision you make. It's a weight that holds people back from true freedom, locking them into the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle. But what if you could take control and start seeing debt not as a permanent part of life but as a conquerable obstacle? In this chapter, we'll dive deep into practical and empowering strategies to manage, reduce, and ultimately eliminate debt. By developing a clear, actionable plan, you can break free from its grip and take a major step toward financial independence. This chapter will explore the psychology of debt, break down the most effective repayment strategies, and offer tools to keep you motivated throughout your journey. Getting out of debt isn't just about improving your finances, it's about reclaiming your peace of mind and your future. It's easy to overlook the impact debt has on your daily life, especially when minimum payments keep it at a manageable level. But every dollar you owe comes with a price, often a high one in the form of interest rates. Over time, interest payments can add up to thousands of dollars, siphoning money that could otherwise go towards savings, investments, or your quality of life. Take a moment to calculate the true cost of your debt. Add up your balances and calculate the total interest you're paying each month. Seeing these numbers laid out can be a wake-up call, helping you understand why eliminating debt should be a top priority. This awareness is the first step in shifting your perspective from viewing debt as a minor inconvenience to seeing it as a barrier between you and financial freedom. There are two popular approaches to tackling debt, the debt snowball and the debt avalanche methods. Each has its strengths, so let's break down how each one works. 1. Debt Snowball Method with the debt snowball, you focus on paying off the smallest debt first, regardless of interest rate. Once that debt is paid off, you take the money you are putting toward it and apply it to the next smallest debt, creating a snowball effect. This method builds momentum quickly and provides psychological wins, which can keep you motivated. 2. Debt Avalanche Method In contrast, the debt avalanche method focuses on paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first. This approach saves the most money over time as it reduces the total interest paid. Once the highest interest debt is eliminated, you move to the next highest, and so on. Both methods work, so choose the one that fits your personality and financial situation. If you're motivated by seeing quick wins, the debt snowball might be best. If you're focused on saving as much money as possible, the debt avalanche is more effective. The key is consistency. Whichever method you choose, stick with it to see results. For some, consolidating or refinancing debt can simplify the repayment process. Debt consolidation combines multiple debts into one monthly payment, often with a lower interest rate, which can reduce the overall cost. Similarly, refinancing involves taking out a new loan at a lower rate to pay off high-interest debt. Here's how to evaluate if consolidation or refinancing might work for you. 1. Compare interest rates. Check the interest rates on your current debts and compare them to consolidation or refinancing options. If you can secure a lower rate, this option might save you money. 2. Evaluate fees and terms. Some consolidation loans or refinancing options come with fees or strict terms. Be sure to understand all the details before committing. 3. Maintain discipline. Consolidating debt doesn't eliminate it, so avoid taking on new debt while you're paying off the consolidated loan. Otherwise, you'll end up back where you started, or worse. For some, debt consolidation is a powerful tool. For others, it's not necessary. Evaluate your situation carefully to see if it's a good fit for your debt repayment plan. Paying off debt can be a long process, and staying motivated is crucial. Here are some strategies to help keep you focused and energized. 1. Celebrate small wins. Paying off even one small debt, or reaching a new milestone like reducing your debt by $1,000, deserves celebration. These wins reinforce progress and remind you that the end goal is achievable. 2. Visualize your debt-free future. Imagine what your life will look like once you're debt-free. What will you do with the extra money? How will you feel? This visualization can be a powerful motivator, especially during challenging moments. 3. 
Create a debt thermometer. Draw a visual thermometer on a poster or in an app with your total debt at the top and zero at the bottom. Each time you make progress, color in a portion of the thermometer. Seeing the progress physically can be incredibly satisfying. 4. Find a support system. Whether it's friends, family, or an online community, having a support system can make the journey easier. Surrounding yourself with people who understand your goals can help you stay accountable and motivated. Debt repayment requires persistence, but by focusing on each small victory, you can maintain the motivation needed to succeed. Eliminating debt is a major achievement, but staying debt-free is equally important. To avoid falling back into old habits, put these preventive strategies in place. Create an emergency fund. One of the main reasons people go into debt is due to unexpected expenses. By having an emergency fund, you'll have a financial cushion to cover sudden costs without relying on credit. 2. Leave below your means. After becoming debt-free, continue living with the same spending habits that helped you get there. Avoid lifestyle inflation, which is the tendency to increase spending as income rises. 3. Use credit wisely. Credit can be a useful tool, but it's important to use it strategically. Consider using credit only for items you can pay off immediately or for emergencies, and always pay off the balance in full each month, if possible. 4. Set new financial goals. After debt, focus on goals like building investments, saving for a major purchase, or planning for retirement. By redirecting the money you once used to pay off debt, you can build a brighter financial future. Preventing future debt isn't just about cutting costs, it's about creating a sustainable financial plan that allows you to enjoy life without the looming threat of debt. Mastering debt is one of the most powerful steps you can take toward financial freedom. Debt isn't just a financial burden, it's a mental and emotional weight. By following the strategies in this chapter, you can take control, reduce your debt, and eventually eliminate it. This journey isn't about sacrifice. It's about empowerment and reclaiming the life you deserve. Once you're debt-free, you'll have the financial flexibility to save, invest, and pursue opportunities that truly enrich your life. In the next chapter, we'll explore the power of investing, how to make your money work for you so you're not constantly working for money. This is a critical step toward building lasting wealth and achieving a life of financial independence. Chapter 6. The Power of Investing. Making Your Money Work For You. For many people, Financial stability means having enough to pay the bills, save a little, and perhaps cover emergencies. But true financial freedom goes beyond stability. It means building wealth that grows over time and eventually works for you. This chapter is dedicated to one of the most powerful tools in your financial arsenal, investing. While investing can seem intimidating or complex, it's actually an accessible and transformative way to take charge of your financial future. In this chapter, we'll explore the basics of investing break down different types of investments, and provide simple steps to get started. By the end, you'll understand how to put your money to work for you, so you're not always working for money. Living paycheck to paycheck, or even just saving money alone, won't lead to true financial freedom. With inflation steadily increasing the cost of living, the money you save today may lose value over time. Investing allows your money to grow, potentially outpacing inflation and creating wealth over the long term. Investing isn't just for the wealthy or the financially savvy, it's for anyone who wants to achieve financial independence. When you invest, your money has the potential to earn more money through interest, dividends, or appreciation. It's about creating opportunities for growth rather than letting your savings stagnate in a low interest account. By learning to invest wisely, you take a step closer to financial freedom. There are many different ways to invest, each with its own potential risks and rewards. Here's a breakdown of some common investment types. 1. Stocks. When you buy a stock, you're purchasing a small ownership stake in a company. Stocks offer the potential for high returns but come with higher risk, as stock values can fluctuate widely. 2. Bonds. Bonds are essentially loans you give to corporations or governments, and they pay you back with interest over time. Bonds tend to be more stable than stocks, making them a good option for people seeking lower-risk investments. 3. Mutual funds and ETFs. Mutual funds pool money from many investors to purchase a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets. ETFs exchange traded funds operate similarly but trade on the stock market like individual stocks. These options offer diversification and are generally less risky than investing in single stocks. 4. Real estate. 
investing in real estate involves purchasing property, either to rent out for income or to sell at a higher price later. Real estate can offer a stable, long-term investment with the potential for appreciation and rental income. 5. Retirement Accounts Accounts like 401ks or IRAs are tax-advantaged ways to save and invest for retirement. Contributions grow tax-free or tax-deferred, making them a powerful tool for long-term growth. Each type of investment has a role in a well-rounded portfolio. By diversifying across different assets, you reduce risk and increase your chances of stable, long-term growth. Investing doesn't have to be complicated. Here's a simple roadmap to help you get started. 1. Define your goals. Start by defining what you want to achieve with your investments. Are you investing for retirement to build wealth or to create passive income? Your goals will shape your investment strategy. 2. Assess your risk tolerance. Every investment carries some risk. Determine your comfort level with risk as this will guide your choices. For example, stocks offer high returns but can be volatile, while bonds are more stable but provide lower returns. 3. Start small. Begin with an amount you can afford, even if it's just $50 or $100. Many platforms allow you to invest with small amounts, and getting started is often the hardest part. 4. Choose a platform. Select a brokerage or investment app that suits your needs. Many online platforms offer low fees, educational resources, and user-friendly interfaces that make investing accessible. 5. Diversify. Spread your investments across different assets to balance risk. By diversifying, you protect yourself from market volatility, as different types of investments perform differently over time. Starting with these steps creates a solid foundation that will allow you to grow and adjust your portfolio as you become more comfortable with investing. One of the most powerful benefits of investing is the magic of compounding. Compounding is when your investment earnings generate additional earnings. Over time, compounding accelerates growth and significantly increases your wealth. Consider this example. If you invest $1,000 with an average annual return of 7% in 10 years, you would have nearly doubled your money to around $1,967. After 20 years, your investment would grow to $3,870. The longer you let your money compound, the more exponential the growth. Compounding rewards patience. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Even small contributions can add up significantly over the years, Thanks to the power of compounding, investing is a long-term journey, and staying consistent is essential for success. Here are some tips to help you avoid common pitfalls. 1. Don't try to time the market. It's tempting to buy and sell based on market trends, but this strategy is risky. Instead, adopt a long-term perspective and avoid knee-jerk reactions to market fluctuations. 2. Avoid emotional investing. Fear and greed are common emotions that can cloud judgment. Stay focused on your goals and avoid making decisions based on short-term market movements. 3. Reinvest earnings. Reinvest any dividends or interest you earn, allowing compounding to work its magic. 4. Review and rebalance periodically. Over time, certain investments in your portfolio may outperform or underperform. Rebalancing ensures your portfolio remains aligned with your risk tolerance and goals. By avoiding these pitfalls and staying committed to a consistent investment plan, you can build wealth steadily without getting distracted by short-term noise. Investing is one of the most effective ways to create long-term wealth and achieve financial freedom. This chapter has given you the tools to start your investing journey with confidence. Remember investing isn't about getting rich quickly, it's about growing your wealth steadily over time and putting yourself on a path to financial independence. In the next chapter, we'll shift our focus to lifestyle choices and how intentional spending can complement your investment strategy, helping you build a life aligned with your goals and values. Chapter 7 Lifestyle Choices and Financial Freedom Spend with Intention Achieving financial freedom isn't just about how much you earn or invest, it's also about how you spend. Lifestyle choices play a crucial role in building a stable financial future. Often we think of spending in terms of what we can or can't afford, but true financial empowerment comes from intentional spending, aligning your expenses with your goals and values. In this chapter, we'll explore the concept of intentional spending, helping you make choices that support both your present happiness and long-term financial freedom. 
we'll discuss how to identify spending habits that may be holding you back, make meaningful adjustments, and embrace a lifestyle that allows you to live well without compromising your financial future. Before you can spend intentionally, you need to understand what truly matters to you. For some, financial security and freedom are top priorities for others, experiences, family, or personal growth take precedence. Identifying your core values is the first step toward aligning your spending with your life goals. Start by listing your top five values. These might include security, family, health, personal growth, or adventure. Next, think about how your current spending reflects or doesn't reflect these values. Do you spend in ways that align with what's most important to you? Intentional spending means letting your values guide your financial choices rather than letting habits, marketing, or societal pressures dictate how you use your money. Lifestyle inflation happens when people increase their spending as their income rises. It's easy to fall into this trap. After all, you've worked hard and want to enjoy the benefits of your success. But lifestyle inflation can create financial stress and undermine long-term wealth goals. Take a close look at how your spending has changed as your income has grown. Are there expenses that no longer bring you value but have simply become part of your routine? Perhaps it's a membership you don't use, expensive dining out, or luxury items that have lost their thrill. By identifying areas of lifestyle inflation, you can make conscious decisions to scale back in ways that don't compromise your happiness but do benefit your financial future. Mindful spending is about being fully present in your financial choices. It's asking yourself, does this purchase align with my values and goals? Before swiping your card. This approach doesn't mean you can't enjoy luxuries or pleasures. It simply means that each spending decision is deliberate and intentional. Here are some practical ways to cultivate mindful spending. 1. Pause before purchases. For non-essential purchases, consider a waiting period. For example, wait 24 hours before buying something over $50. This pause gives you time to decide if the purchase is necessary or if it's driven by impulse. 2. Create a joy per dollar mentality. Think about the satisfaction you get from each purchase. Are you getting true value or is it a fleeting pleasure? Focusing on purchases that bring lasting joy helps you make wiser spending choices. 3. Review and reflect monthly. Set aside time each month to review your purchases. Which ones brought genuine happiness, which felt wasteful? Use these insights to adjust your spending habits. Mindful spending empowers you to take control of your financial decisions, ensuring that your money goes toward things that genuinely enhance your life. Budgeting isn't just about restricting spending, it's about creating a plan that supports both happiness and financial freedom. A well-designed budget includes categories that allow you to enjoy life while also securing your future. 1. Essential Expenses Cover the basics rent, groceries, utilities, and other non-negotiable costs. 2. Joy Fund Allocate a portion of your budget to a joy fund, meant for experiences or items that genuinely make you happy. This way you don't feel deprived and can spend guilt-free on things you value. 3. Savings and Investments Just as important as spending on today is saving for tomorrow. Ensure your budget includes savings and investment contributions to support your financial independence. 4. Personal Growth Fund Set aside money for self-development, like books, courses, or hobbies. These investments can pay dividends by enhancing your skills and happiness. Creating a balanced budget ensures that your finances support a lifestyle that brings joy today while paving the way for a financially stable tomorrow. Adopting a minimalist approach doesn't mean giving up everything you enjoy, it simply means being intentional about what you allow into your life. Conscious consumption is about focusing on quality over quantity and choosing items that add value rather than clutter. Here's how to embrace minimalism in your financial life. 1. Value experiences over things. Studies show that experiences often bring more long-term happiness than material goods. Prioritize spending on memories and moments that enrich your life. 2. Declutter regularly. Clearing out physical clutter can also help you avoid financial clutter. By regularly assessing what you own and need, you become more selective about future purchases. 3. Choose quality. Invest in high-quality items that last, rather than inexpensive items you'll have to replace frequently. This approach can save money over time and reduce waste. Minimalism isn't about deprivation, it's about freedom from unnecessary expenses and material distractions, allowing you to focus on what truly matters. 
Intentional spending is about building a life that reflects your values, brings you joy, and supports your financial freedom. By practicing mindful spending, avoiding lifestyle inflation, and prioritizing experiences over things, you're creating a lifestyle that aligns with both your goals and happiness. In the last chapter, we'll explore how to take this empowered mindset and apply it to future planning, mapping out a financial vision that goes beyond daily expenses and builds toward a life of financial independence, purpose, and fulfillment. Chapter 8. Your Financial Future. Mapping out a life beyond the daily grind. Imagine a life where financial stress no longer dictates your choices. A life where your money works for you, enabling you to pursue passions, spend time with loved ones, and explore new opportunities without worry. Achieving financial independence isn't just about having enough money. It's about creating a vision for your future that aligns with your deepest values and aspirations. This final chapter is about designing that future. We'll explore practical ways to map out your financial vision, set achievable goals, and create a plan to build a life beyond the daily grind. By the end, you'll be equipped with both the mindset and the tools to turn this vision into reality. Every journey needs a purpose. Achieving financial independence is no different. Take some time to think about why you want financial freedom. Is it to travel, pursue a creative passion, retire early, or support causes you believe in? When you understand your why, it gives clarity and direction to your financial journey, transforming each step into something meaningful. Write down your reasons for pursuing financial independence. Be specific and detailed. This why will be your guiding light, motivating you when the path feels challenging and keeping your goals focused as you move forward. With your why in mind, it's time to set clear, long-term goals that reflect your ideal financial future. Think about where you want to be in 10, 20, or even 30 years. These goals might include 1. Early retirement. If you're aiming to retire before the traditional age, define what that looks like for you. What age do you want to retire at, and what lifestyle would you like to maintain? 2. Major purchases or investments. Perhaps you want to buy a home, start a business, or invest in properties. Setting these goals helps you work backward to determine how much you need to save and invest. 3. Legacy planning. Financial independence allows you to think beyond yourself. Consider what legacy you want to leave, whether it's supporting family, giving back to the community, or creating a foundation. Break each long-term goal into smaller milestones. These incremental steps make it easier to stay on track and measure your progress along the way. Achieving big goals requires a detailed roadmap. This plan will outline the steps needed to move from where you are now to where you want to be. Here's a guide to creating your own financial roadmap. 1. Calculate your financial freedom number. This is the amount of money you need to be financially independent. It's often based on the 25x rule, where your financial freedom number is 25 times your annual expenses. This number provides a target, helping you understand the level of wealth you need to achieve your vision. 2. Set monthly and annual milestones. Break your long-term goals down into smaller, achievable steps. For example, if you want to save $100,000 in the next five years, set a target to save $20,000 each year, or about $1,667 per month. 3. Automate and track your progress. Use budgeting tools and automated transfers to ensure you're consistently saving and investing toward your goals. Track your progress monthly to stay accountable and celebrate small victories along the way. Having a roadmap helps you stay focused and resilient, providing a step-by-step -step guide to achieve your financial dreams. Achieving financial freedom requires a mindset shift. Instead of thinking about immediate wants, you'll focus on future goals and the freedom they bring. This future-driven mindset isn't about deprivation, it's about empowerment. It's about seeing each financial decision as a step toward your vision of independence and fulfillment. Here are some tips for adopting a future-driven mindset. 1. Prioritize future gains over instant gratification. Whenever you're faced with a financial decision, ask yourself, does this bring me closer to my future goals? This question encourages you to choose options that align with your vision rather than fleeting wants. 2. Visualize your future regularly. Take a few minutes each week to imagine your future life. Envision the freedom, opportunities, and peace of mind you'll experience. This visualization can reinforce your commitment and make daily sacrifices feel worthwhile. 3. Surround yourself with like-minded people. 
seek out communities or friendships with people who value financial independence. Being around others with similar goals creates a support system that strengthens your resolve. A future-driven mindset is about maintaining focus on your goals, making daily choices that align with your aspirations, and reinforcing that vision through visualization and community support. Life is unpredictable, and your financial journey may not go exactly as planned. Flexibility is essential for staying resilient through changes and challenges. Here's how to adapt without losing sight of your ultimate goals. 1. Regularly review and adjust your goals. Life circumstances, income, and priorities can change. Review your financial roadmap at least once a year and make adjustments as necessary. Stay committed to the big picture, even if the steps to get there evolve. 2. Re-evaluate your financial freedom number. As you grow older, your understanding of what you need for financial independence may shift. Periodically check in with your financial goals to ensure they align with your current lifestyle and aspirations. 3. Stay open to new opportunities. Sometimes unexpected opportunities can accelerate your progress toward financial independence. Be open to career shifts, investment options, or side projects that align with your goals and bring you closer to freedom. Flexibility ensures that you're able to navigate changes without losing momentum. Adapting your plan over time keeps your financial journey sustainable, realistic, and aligned with your evolving dreams. Financial independence isn't just a destination, it's a journey that empowers you to live life on your terms. By defining your why, setting clear goals, creating a roadmap, and embracing a future-driven mindset, you're taking control of your financial future. Each decision, each milestone, brings you closer to a life of freedom, where money serves you and not the other way around. Remember, financial independence doesn't happen overnight, but every small step brings you closer. You've now completed a roadmap that includes transforming your mindset, creating practical strategies, and embracing a new approach to money that aligns with the life you envision. Congratulations on taking these steps. Now the future is in your hands. Live intentionally, spend wisely, and invest in the life you want to build. Final words. You've taken the first steps toward a new chapter, one where financial stress doesn't define your life, and where each decision brings you closer to the freedom you've been craving. Beyond Broke isn't just a guide, it's your gateway to a life built on empowerment, confidence, and the wealth you deserve. Remember, real change doesn't come from momentary inspiration, it comes from consistent, intentional steps forward. As you turn these insights into action, Know that you're not just improving your finances, you're reclaiming control over your future. Thank you for allowing this book to be part of your journey. Here's to building the life you've always imagined, one step at a time, beyond worry and beyond broke. Take care and be well.